Good morning to you. Good morning, Ray Ray. Huh? <laughs> Find the words. Are you tired? You didn't want to wake up. Okay, come on. Hello everyone, happy Vlogmas Day 14. I can't, I can't believe it's the 14th already, that's crazy. Um, I'm getting a late start to the day. I was getting ready today and I just got really kind of engulfed in, I said, I talked about it a lot on Instagram, so I'm not gonna talk about it on here because I'm sure a lot of you guys still watch my Instagram stories. But basically I shared a story on Instagram of a woman that talked about how she was at Michael's and she had two I think she said men following her they were commenting about the children and she said like it was just a bad vibe and she heard them like describe the children and just all this stuff and then there was a van right next to her car and this was just at Michael's and it just really goes to show like how scary it is out there and like anything can happen anywhere where you're at like it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter if you're good area or anything like that something can happen and you should always be alert and it's so important. I actually ordered a taser and pepper spray, which I have been meaning to order anyways, because you should always have it on you. Even if you're just by yourself, it's always important, especially during the holidays right now. And just the, just the like craziness of the, of the world right now, you should always have protection. And so yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's scary. And that's one thing like why I'm always like so alert and I try not to run errands with Riley. I try to do as many errands as I can while I am, uh, while Riley's at school. Like Joel knows this. Like he's like, oh, let's just take her with me. It's not that big of a deal. I'm like, it has nothing to do with it being a big deal. Like that is one part, like when I can get like things so much faster done if I'm by myself. But also too is I get super much, I get so much anxiety going out with her because you worry about every little thing and it's just what it comes in with being a mom and you should be worried about it because the second that you get comfortable and you aren't on alert and you aren't watching your surroundings that's when things happen and you never want to ask yourself what if so yeah so anyways i'm getting a little a little bit of a late start but i also got a hold of vnh finally and they sent me a refund like a, a tracking like a shipping label for a refund so i'm shipping the camera back i was gonna do an exchange but they said that the camera is on back order and i'm like i don't want to like pay for this camera and then like have it be on back order from you guys forever so i think i might look into something else or look into like buying it at a different place but i don't know what's wrong with it it's the camera was wonky from the second i got it and they were great they were super easy customer service was great i'll probably look on my phone to see if there's any stores that might carry the same camera or the old version of it i might just get the old version um and we'll go from there so i want to oh i also have so many i'm gonna have so many packages to pick up too so i'm gonna probably bring a shopping cart into the ups store and kind of just go from there so i'm tired it's a monday it's a real monday right now um, but let's go. Okay, so I just went to Best Buy right now and they actually had the black one, but the old M50 Mark I, which honestly, once you really look at the two, there's really not much difference. The pixels, everything is the same. It's just that the Mark II actually has like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, like, or not, it has Wi-Fi capability so you can stream from it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm really not gonna use it anyways. And it's like $50 cheaper for the Mark I. So what I did is I was in there and I was like, they didn't have the white one. I was like, I really want the white one. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw on B&H that I could actually get it shipped and sent to me by Wednesday and today's Monday so I was like the guy was gonna about to get it for me so I could buy it and I was like uh sorry I'm just gonna go order on B&H so I can get the white one because the white one is like I if I ordered the white one from Best Buy I wouldn't get it until like the day before Christmas or the day after Christmas and B&H can get it out to me a lot faster than that so that's what I'm doing so I will get that on Wednesday and we'll just use the G7X which I love this camera it's so easy I just was trying to up the quality of the audio um, with having an external mic and yeah and I like the fact that I could zoom too and it wasn't like a cropped image but you just do what you got to do um, I also went to seize candy 
and I was gonna go get Steve's candy there, but it was like the line was like all, like all wrapped around the building. So I'm gonna drive back over there because it's right across the street to see how that's going. If that's falling down, I'll just probably wait in line until I could go pick up Riley because it's already almost two. And um, I also went to the PO box, got my packages. That's what they are in the back there. And then I went to, um, I had to go to FedEx to go ship back the camera, but thankfully b and just is so quick and easy to do. So we're good there. And now I'm gonna head and go check out C's Candy and see how long that line is. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have Riley here now. We're gonna play with her Play-Doh that she opened up yesterday. Yeah. You excited? Yes. Yes? Okay, so in here, there are two different Play-Dohs. There's an, I thought there would've been white, but it's orange and blue. What color? White. No, say orange. Uh, orange, yes. Um, um, no, you don't eat it, you don't eat it. Gotta make sure she doesn't eat it. <laughs> oh. Blue, yes, good job. No, you don't eat the Play-Doh. It's to play with. Okay, you play with it. You mold things. Watch. You could even like, I don't know if you could do anything like with that. Watch, we could do this. <gasps> See, you can make like the faces of a snowman with it. Yeah. More. Yeah, more. This is, can you say yellow? Oh, oh. Yellow. Say yellow. Yes. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Say yellow. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, here. going to make our tacos so I'm using ground turkey I forgot how light this camera is this is actually kind of nice <laughs> um, I'm gonna use these little tortilla bowls for us and I'll get the cheese out but I'm gonna go ahead and start making the meat Taking 
dinner is made it's like this little bowl thingy i did uh ground turkey with taco seasoning um spanish quinoa rice with black beans and cheese so we'll see how this is real quick riley is hasn't taken a bite yet it's not bad it's a good little bowl like you could even like as you get lower in it you can like pick it up and probably take a bite out of it to have the tortilla but it's good although i do wish i had some guacamole right now all right so we finished dinner i finished dinner riley wouldn't eat <laughs> right right you wouldn't eat you would not eat i even moved it to a regular bowl to see if she would eat it but she won't <laughs> i give up with toddlers you guys but Anyways, um, I've been responding to a ton of your guys' DMs and everything, and a lot of you are so happy that I shared the story, and like you guys are sharing your stories with me that you've been through, and even just like not even just with strangers, but even like you know with situations of like, because I also said I go we should always feel free to speak up when we aren't comfortable with things, and it doesn't matter if it's a stranger, it doesn't matter if it's a family member or a friend. Like I go like if you're not comfortable with something, you need to speak up. Um, and not feel bad about it because you're the mom and that needs to be respected. So, and a lot of you guys are actually saying like even with family members, like you know how you're like, oh, I feel so bad when I speak up because it makes it like awkward situations and stuff like that. And trust me, I know. I know that feeling so much and I finally got through that. Um, I think the biggest thing is is that you have to put down your boundaries. You have to put down your line and family needs to respect that. And it's just... You should not feel bad for that because you're the mom. The mom knows best and the mom is looking out for her babies and that's just how it is. And you should never feel bad about that. Like, trust me, I know there's times where like I'll bite, I would bite my tongue and I would just have so much anxiety over all of it. And I'm like, it's not worth it. And like, you know, even being in situations where you do bite your tongue and then something happens and you're like, this is why I wasn't comfortable with this. Um, so that is just, yeah, I just wanted to really like empower like other women and other moms out there to just don't Don't feel like you have to bite your tongue and don't feel like you're in the wrong or you're an overbearing mom You aren't you're just a mom and you are just looking out for your little ones And that isn't that's all that's important is your little ones come first and it is what it is and everyone else needs to respect that no matter if it's your husband, your in-laws, your parents, your sister, your brother, like anyone, a friend, it doesn't matter who it is, they all need to respect that because you are the mom. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about that really quickly. I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna put away dinner. Riley is still, she's just chewing on her straw. She drank all her milk at least. <laughs> that's okay with me, I mean, that's a win. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up dinner and maybe we'll do our advent calendar. There's a box up in the attic Full of treasures from my past Paper snowmen from season melting into spring too fast clay and glitter wood and glue may not seem like much to you but it Bye. 
like we always wanted to But this old house shines like a diamond With Christmas lights hung on the roof It might not be the life I dream But it's become Find 14, it's right here. Right here. Right, right, right there. He lifts up. There you go. Mama. She got it? Okay. Oh, that means there's a present. Look it. There's a present. <laughs> you ran fast. Okay, let's find 14. Okay, we gotta find it. That's 14. What is it? Bunnies. Is it a blender? Yeah. What did you get? Bunnies. Wow. Can you show me? Show me your blender. Hold it up for the camera. Please. Good job. Do you want to show? Do you want to show the front side of it? Okay, now hold it up so the camera can see what it is. Go to cheese. cheese. Good job, baby. That is so cool. Can you write it? Can you show me? What did you get? Nanas. Yeah, it has nanas and it has, what's this? Apple. Apple. Good job. Very good. Okay. Apple. I'll open it up for you really quickly and then we're going to go upstairs, okay? Do you want to help me throw away the trash? Yep. Try, what do you think? It's good. Is it cool? Wow, very cool. What's in here? Ray Ray, what's in here? Banana bubbles. Is it banana and? Apple. Apples, good job. Are you making a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah? How cool. So this is a little a blender kit that I actually got from, I think it was Marshalls or Home Goods. I can't remember which one it was, but if I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. But it's really cute. I know they also had like a bunch of other, like by the same brand, like different other little items for the kitchen. But that's to be really good for her kitchen. So we're just playing with it upstairs, relaxing for a bit. And then it's brushing the teeth time and then it's bedtime. Oh no! Here, I'll help you. Do you need help? Okay. Bop. And the top. There you go. Good job. Bop. Yep. Two. Wow. Yay! Alrighty, we'll check in soon.